Hi, I'm Father Joe. I heard a great joke about a guy who owned a store where they reupholstered furniture. The guy who owned the store got very sick, but thank God he's fully recovered. Or then there's the one about the chicken who crossed the road. It was poultry in motion. I think that's my cue to stop. Let's see what we've got. Dear Father Joe, is organ donation okay for Catholics? If yes, why? Doesn't it say that our bodies rise from the dead? Well, how will all that work? What about cremation? Okay, in order to answer this question, and it's a good one, it's a bunch of good questions, we're going to take a look at a, a real key idea that we've got from scripture and sacred tradition, and it's this. That when you and I die and our bodies go into the ground, our souls go for final judgment. Our souls, hopefully, wait in heaven for our bodies. And then at Jesus' second coming, our bodies join our souls and we have what's called glorified bodies. I don't think, again, that that has anything to do with chiseled abs, but who knows. So, what are the rules then? With that idea in the back of our head, let's take a look at the Catechism. In section 2, Two, nine, six. Here's what it says in the Catechism about organ donation. Quote, organ donation after death is the noble and meritorious act and it is to be encouraged as an expression of solidarity. The Catechism then goes on to say that organ donation is not acceptable if the person hasn't given their permission or if, God forbid, a person is killed so that their organs can be taken. Uh, in terms of cremation, the church says this, and this is in your catechism section 2301, the church permits creation provided that it does not demonstrate a denial of the faith and the resurrection of the body. So what do we got here? We have that the church encourages organ donation and permits cremation provided that it doesn't demonstrate a denial of faith in the resurrection of the body. What does that mean? Well, we show uh, uh, our wrong belief sometimes about the resurrection of the body when we use phrases like, well, it's just a shell. Or we refer to our bodies as, as bad things that our souls need to escape from. Those are ideas that we do not want to have. Our bodies are sacred and they're destined for good things. In terms of organ donation, the church understands that, in a sense, to be, to be blunt, what happens in the process of cremation is what will happen to our bodies in the earth and happens at an accelerated rate. And we believe that God, of course, can deal with the natural processes of decomposition. Well, then God can deal with the process of cremation in terms of the resurrection of our bodies. Back to cremation, one thing that uh, we do, we uh, have to look out for is the idea of then taking the ashes of our beloved and uh, sometimes putting them, people put them in amulets that they wear or they sprinkle the ashes. These are things that the church doesn't permit. We need to treat the cremated ashes in the same way that we would treat the body of our beloved ones. It may be possible that some of you are watching and, and realizing that you did the wrong thing when it came to cremation. But we need to uh, remember a very simple premise. God does not judge us for what we did not know through no fault of our own. All of us have made mistakes and unintentional ignorance. I truly can't imagine anyone treating the dead in a way that the church tells us not to and doing it out of malice. So, as God asks us to do every day of our lives, we learn from our errors. And we accept God's wonderful, loving, and freely given mercy. Enjoy another day in God's presence.